So in this video, we're going to teach you about the female hormonal cycle. I tracked my cycle for an entire month and you're going to be able to follow along with me on the journey so you can see how it all shakes down in practice. Hey guys, welcome to that DIY couple where we make videos about becoming the best versions of ourselves. If you're like me, we all have feelings. And sometimes you might be surprised that your feelings vary a lot from week to week. As a man, I honestly used to find women a little bit unpredictable and hard to deal with. Like their emotions could change on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. I feel amazing. I want to pick a fight, like I want to like argue. Top, you know? Boy, was I horny. Tired. I just wanted to clean like everything. Anxious. Organize. Clean. Plan. Irritable. Insecure. Oh, look at his muscles. <gasps> Hair is looking good. I'm feeling so sexy. And I sound like, take it in, boys. Yeah, so that's not how I normally act. Uh, <laughs> as a guy, I'm more even keeled. But I had the idea to start tracking Shannon's uh, hormonal cycle on a monthly basis. Uh, originally, I'm being to Shannon just for my own research and edification uh, and I actually found that Shannon was acting in predictable ways every month relative to where she was on her hormonal cycle. Yeah, it was really interesting. When John started tracking my cycle, we started realizing that all sorts of stuff seemed to be really tied to where my hormones were. Everything from how good I looked and how good I felt, how I smelled, how much I wanted to groom John, how interested my cats were in me, like nesting tendencies, all sorts of stuff was, was linked to my cycle. On our weight loss journey, which we talked about in other videos, we had already figured out that hormones can play a big role in how we feel and how we act and our mood. But I actually learned through this process that female hormones can actually have an impact on male hormones as well. So in this video, we're going to teach you about the female hormonal cycle. I tracked my cycle for an entire month and you're going to be able to follow along with me on the journey so you can see how it all shakes down in practice. Just a couple of disclaimers before we get started. This is just my cycle. It's a 28 day cycle. Your mileage may vary depending upon your cycle and how long it is. Women are different. I haven't used hormonal birth control for a long time, probably like five or six years because I found that it caused me to gain weight and I just felt a little bit nauseous. So we've been using condoms as our only form of birth control for some time. And prayer. <laughs> so <laughs> um, if you are on a hormonal birth control, you may find that you have much less variation in how you feel throughout your cycle because the hormonal birth control will function to suppress your natural hormonal swings. So a woman's menstrual cycle is actually divided into four different phases scientifically. So phase one is menstruation. That's the actual um, time during which a woman is on her period, which can last a few days. Phase two is the follicular phase. That's when a woman's estrogen and testosterone surge and she's gearing up to release an egg. Phase three is ovulation, which is when a woman releases a mature egg to perhaps be fertilized by sperm. Phase four is the luteal phase, during which women experience a drop-off in estrogen and testosterone, as well as a rise in progesterone, followed by a less extreme rise in estrogen. The entire cycle lasts about 28 days for most women and is essential for human reproduction and survival. So here we go, you guys. I'm about to take you through a journey through my hormones, and we're gonna learn all about how each of these hormones influences our mood, body temperature, libido, and a host of other things. Be sure to follow along on your screen to see exactly where I am on my hormonal cycle, as well as interesting tidbits explaining the science behind this fascinating part of human existence. It's January 24th and I woke up this morning with this pain in my hips, like this achiness and just lying in bed. It's January 25th and boy was I horny over the course of the day yesterday. I was like scratching John and like touching John and like kind of looking at him and like just like really like super attracted to him and he was like not feeling well. <laughs> yesterday I like found myself watching like the primitive technology guy and I was like, oh, look at his muscles. Like, <laughs> I found myself like watching all these interviews 
with men and I like I think that like at this point in my cycle I find like facial hair and just like overt signs of masculinity to be like way more attractive and I also have noticed that my cats have been like really obsessed with me also my um my skin is like been clearing up or whatever yesterday I, I don't always wear makeup um but yesterday I was like let's put on some makeup like in the middle of the day at work I was like I'm gonna put on some makeup it's January 26th, felt a strong desire to clean everything. <laughs> so I felt like one of those birds that's like pecking around their nest, you know, trying to like clean up and like make their nest look really nice. Like I cleaned the entire house. I cleaned the car. I took the car to the car wash. I even cleaned John. <laughs> I found myself like being like, hey, is it? It's time to like trim your toenails. Today is January 27th. Um, my productivity streak has like really continued. I, I wanna get things done, I wanna plan things out. Just in a very like organized, clean, plan. It's like, I'm in like a like, like get, get stuff done type of, type of mood. John has been like commenting that I've been like looking good or whatever. John like, you know, like attacked me the other day. I was like, oh, you look amazing. And I was like, hmm, go on. It's January 29th. I would say that I'm still in my like planning and productive mode. I really want to like put pen to paper and like make concrete plans for the future. During my lunch break, I went and I tried on some no new clothing. No intention of buying them. I have like a zero clothing budget for this year. <laughs> yeah, really excited about the foods that I'm eating, all the kitchen is clean, the, the food is prepped. Feeling like I got my shit together. January 31st and yesterday I was so horny. Um, I was like unable to sleep. <laughs> and John was uh, still ill and like just totally unavailable and I was like, just hugging him, like caressing him, like staring at him. My body temperature was like really warm. It was freezing yesterday, but for some reason my body temperature was like super warm. When I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, like I should do my hair. And I was like, let me put on a different earring. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I remembered something that somebody had told me like when I was like 15, which was the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe. Look at this, this is my sparkly shirt. This is the shirt that John says that makes me look like a Texas country star. I'm also like slimming down and my skin has cleared up. So I'm feeling like top, you know? I'm feeling like poderosa, which means powerful. Um, yeah, feeling great. <laughs> hey guys, it's February 1st. I feel amazing. I've got, you know, my makeup on. I feel like my hair is looking good. I'm feeling so sexy and like, I found myself yesterday when I was like, I was like walking through like a room and like I noticed that like, like the men were looking and I was just kind of thinking to myself like, take it in boys. You know, like I felt like, like a sultry like, like movie star with like a cigarette hanging out of my mouth. It's just like, oh, like emanating, like glorious. Yeah, I'm feeling just like, like poderosa. Like my like body is like slim right now. I'm like, I'm just at home alone and I'm wearing like high heels for no reason. Like I'm just feeling like very like, you know, like muse like right now. And John and I are gonna go on a date. It's gonna be a sexy night. I'm excited. <laughs> it's been planned, it's more been put on the calendar. I've been focused too on like work stuff. I have like I've had like a lot of ideas about like different businesses and startups and things like that that I could spend time on. Um, and feeling just kind of like motivated. I'm top of the world right now. It's February 2nd. I've been feeling like super good these days, super productive. I, on February 1st, I think I did like, maybe I shot, my, I maybe shot like 10 videos. I was feeling like so, so in the zone into like still like the self care and grooming and productivity. But I will say that I have been like over yesterday and today, February 1st and 2nd, like a little bit irritable. So on Tuesday, February 5th, I felt like really like different like I was like really like out for myself and I was just like kind of like really like everything sucks I don't know like I don't know how to describe it we had kind of like a weird 
I wouldn't describe it as a fight. We don't really fight, but we had sort of an out of character conversation for the two of us. I think it left both of us, particularly him, feeling like a little bit weird. And I've learned that there's, I don't know if this was the particular day, but I've always learned that there's like one day on my cycle where I'm like, just like kind of a little bit of a different person. Like I'm a little bit, like everything is shitty, everything sucks. Um, I'm like weirdly like, I would describe it as like contentious. Like I just kind of like, I'm picking a fight. Like I want to pick a fight. Like I want to like argue. And I'm usually not like that at all. And it's so funny that like John has like actually started tracking it. And whenever that happens, John checks Glow, which is the app we use to track my period. And he looks at it, he's like, he'll be like, ah, okay. It's just 10 days before her period. Like disregard everything she says. Um, and we have like a rule in our household that we're not allowed to make any major decisions at that point on my cycle. Hey guys, it's Shannon. I'm checking in on February 6th and today I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty calm and in control and I got some stuff done at work today that like made me feel pretty confident and good. Like I'm definitely not as interested in self-care. I'm more interested in like logistics and planning. And it is February 7th and in general I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, I'm feeling tired though. I'm feeling really tired and I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. That might be because I'm taking an anti-inflammatory for my knee. I sort of injured my knee. I have the distinct impression that my cat is more obsessed with me at certain times during my period cycle, my hormonal cycle. And right now I just can't, he just has to be here. He's gotta be right next to me. And it's February 9th. I've been a little bit emotional. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was in bed again, and I again felt that sort of like achiness in my joints, which I think is a sign of a hormonal shift. John told me that he had a dream about us having a baby, like on the floor somewhere, we were like taking care of it. Like, um, and I got like really emotional when he started talking about that. Well, today is February 10th, and I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling, um, <clears throat> I'm feeling very like pensive and cerebral recently. I've been thinking a lot about planning and family planning and like future planning. And um, it's been nice because John has been kind of thinking about all the same stuff. We were talking about, you know, how many children are we gonna have? And we talk about this all the time, but um, you know, John was like, excitingly like upping all the numbers which is typically what I do and I was really like touched that he was getting into it. Hey guys, it's February 11th. I'm checking in here. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really planning oriented, like wanting really hard to plan for the future and specifically plan for like future babies. I'll also say that I'm not a big spender, but the last today I've like I went into a home goods and I was just kind of like looking at all this stuff and I almost bought some, which I don't usually do. I don't usually make like spur of the moment purchases, but I was like, cause I'm in like nesting and planning mode. I was like, oh, look at these cute little like cat dishes. Look at these cute little like dog bowls. I don't have kids right now, but like I have animals and I like wanted to like buy things for my animals, which I don't usually do. I also am in like caring for my animals mode. So I like, groomed Ted yesterday and I'm like scheduling John a haircut. I'm like grooming John <laughs> and um, I've been like on like Pinterest and on like Ikea looking at like furniture and considering making lots of purchases but because I'm cheap like not actually pulling the trigger on any of them but that's not typical for me. I'm not a big shopper and it's February 12th. I was totally almost asleep and then I forgot that I hadn't filmed, but I just wanted to say that today I felt like I would say the primary emotion was anxious. I felt anxious today and I felt insecure. 
and that's all. Yesterday, February 13th, was the first day of my period. It was also just a very stressful day. Um, I had a lot of meetings all over town and I ended up having to walk a, like pretty far in Manhattan, probably like a mile and a half, which I haven't really been in the practice of doing since my knee surgery. And I found myself, I'm also a little under the weather, and I just found myself feeling like really exhausted all day, um, both physically and emotionally, just tired, because I had a lot of meetings where I just really needed to be on, on, on all day. And they went well, but it took like everything. Um, I also just had a really, really super busy day. And um, I found myself like really drawn to bad food. Like I wanted to like eat like bad food. Instead, what I ended up doing is I ended up eating like a salad out um, as opposed to the salad that I brought, which is probably like a little worse for me. I ate like a cup of like soup with um, tomatoes and cheese in it. And I don't normally eat like a totally vegan diet, but I find when I'm like really stressed, I like go for like comfort foods. Um, and as you can see this morning, I have I had like some acne yesterday. Not too bad actually, but for me, not too bad. But um, yeah, just um, re the key emotion yesterday, February 13th, tired, tired. Hey guys, it's February 19th, I'm just checking in. My period wrapped up in about four days. I've been feeling great, um, feeling increasingly like poderosa and like, like strong and accomplished, ab like ability, uh, able to accomplish things, um, feeling really, really good. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look at my hormonal cycle. Don't worry that we ended just after my period where I was looking a little bit frumpy. Just about a week later, I was ovulating again and snapped this gem. I was very interested in self-care and grooming, and I also was very interested in like adornment, and so I did a little bit of shopping when I say I did a little bit of shopping I mean I went to the Goodwill and I bought myself a coat for $12 Woo, big spender thank you guys so much for watching we really 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 appreciate all of your comments so if you have anything to say about this video if you want to relate your own hormonal cycle or experience uh, going through similar stuff that we did please comment and let us know similarly if you like our videos subscribe we have new videos all the time talking about this and other topics uh, we'd love for you to engage on our other social media platforms too, Instagram in particular. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Until next time, do well and always make things better.